All right, so 4.4 part two, we are continuing with the same thing we did yesterday. We are factoring, but now all of our terms are gonna have a greatest common factor that we need to take out first before we factor. So a common factor of the terms that can be factored out of the expression is our greatest common factor. That could either be a number, so it could be some number, or a variable, which would be like x. So the common factor of the coefficient and the exponent. So our coefficient would be the number, x is our exponent. So example one. Do we have anything in common between these two terms? So start with the numbers. Any numbers that six or nine have in common? Three. So we can divide out a three from both of these and we're taking it out of our equation here. So what's 6 divided by 3? 2. two. So we're left with a 2. And then what's 9 divided by 3? Three? 3. 3. And then do we have anything else in common? Any variables? An x. An x. So we're also dividing out an x from both of these. But we have... The greatest thing that we have in common is just 1x, because the first one has 2, the second one has 1, so we can take out 1 from both of them. Okay. If we take out 1x from the first one, how many are we left with? Um, is it or zero? If we have two x's here, and we're taking away 1, yeah. so we have 1 left, and then if we have 1 here, and we take away 1, how many do we have? Zero. 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 And then this would just be a plus. So since this was a plus, this is a plus. So this is our answer. If we wanted to, we could check our work by distributing this back out, and we would end up with our original, our original question here. So you could always check your work by multiplying it back out, and you end up with the original. So we got the 3x out here because that's what we took out of both of these. That was our greatest common factor that we took away. All right, let's look at the next one. What is our greatest common factor that we can take out here? Any numbers that these have in common? Yeah. Seven. So we're gonna divide both of these by seven, take it out of our answer. So what's seven divided by seven? One, and then what's 21 divided by seven? Mm -hmm. Three. Do we have any x's in common? No. Nope. So what do you think goes in this spot here? X. How many? Four. Two. We started with x squared. We're not taking anything out, so x squared goes right there. So this is our answer. If we distributed the seven back out, we would end up with the original question. So we're taking out the greatest common factor. So our factors of 7 would be 7 and 1. Our factors of 21 are 7 and 3. So the greatest thing that these two have in common are 7. So that's why we have to take out the 7. We couldn't take out like a 6 because 7 divided by 6 would be a fraction. It's not 6 is not a factor of 7. And 6 is not a factor of 21. So it has to be what they both have in common. You have to divide everything with the same thing. Everything with the same thing. Okay. Yeah, that's probably All right, let's look at the next one. What is our greatest common factor? Nine. We can take out a nine. So we're dividing everything by nine. Do we have any x's that we can take out? No. No, because this last one doesn't have any x's, so we can't take out any x's. So what are we left with on the inside of our parentheses now once we take out the 9? x squared plus x minus 2. Awesome. x squared plus x minus 2. We still have three terms in our parentheses. So this looks like one of the problems we did yesterday. So we need to factor it. So do we have two factors of negative 2 that add up to positive 1? Like what we did yesterday. Uh, two things that multiply to negative 2 but add to negative 1. Add to negative 1? Add to positive 1. 
What are two things? Negative that... two times negative one. Awesome. Two times negative one. That multiplies to negative two, and two minus one would be positive one. So that nine just stays out front, hangs along for the ride. We put our x's first, and then plus two and minus one. So then this is our answer. So any time that you have three terms in your parentheses here, you have to factor. So we have to factor. And then we would get our two sets of parentheses here, our binomials are what they're called, because there's two terms in it. All right, what do we have in common here? A two, so we're t dividing everything by two. Any x's in common? No. So then what are we left with in our parentheses when we take out a two? Awesome. So we just divide all of the numbers by 2, so we get x squared minus 3x plus 4. Now again, we have three terms in our parentheses, so we have to factor. What are two factors of 4 that add to negative 3? What are two things, that, four and one. two things that multiply to positive 4 and add to negative 3? This one we actually can't factor because it's, you said negative 4 and 1. That would be good, but negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, not positive 4. So this one we can't factor. I think I made a mistake on this example, so we'll just leave it as our answer here. Okay. So you can't factor Yeah, but all the ones in the homework you should be able to are factor. <laughs> This would be our solution, because we can't factor it anymore. So this is our answer. Wait, why can't you factor it anymore? Because we don't have four numbers, or we don't have two numbers that multiply to four and add to negative three. Would this be like a plus sign? Okay, thank No, you. I messed up on this example. I think it should have been a minus eight here. So if it was a minus 8, it would have worked because this would have been negative. But whatever, we'll just leave it like this. All the ones in the homework, you can factor. All right, next one. Example 5. What do we have in common that we can take out here? Five. A 5. Any x's in common? How many? 1x. So we're taking out a 5x, and what are we left with? Uh, 5x and 2x plus 5. So let's divide the numbers first. What's 10 divided by 5? 2. And then if we have 2x's and we're taking 1 away, how many are we left with? 1. And then here, what's 5x over 5x? 1. Because 5 divided by 5 would just be 1. x over x is 1. So we have 5x times 2x plus 1. This is our answer. All right, last example. What can we take out here? We could take out a 2, but even better than 2, we can take out a 4. Because we want to take out the greatest thing that these all have in common. So we're taking out a 4. So we take out a 4, we need to write that out front. What are we left with? 1 plus 4x plus 2. So x squared plus 4x plus 3. Alright, let's see if we can factor this. Do we have two numbers that multiply to 3 and add to 4? 3 and 1. Three and one. Awesome. So what goes into our parentheses? x plus 3 and x plus 1. Awesome. So this is our answer. 
So just don't forget whatever you take out at the beginning, it has to be included in your answer, but it's just gonna stay out front. So if we took it out in the middle, it just stays out front for our answer. Zero. 